I do think catch wrestling doesn't deal with guards. Let's show you one really effective way that you might not have seen. I'm here with CWA student Jonathan Jimenez, and we're going to revisit the Fujiwara Cradle because it seems like a lot of people don't know what this is. So let's go ahead and break it down. And okay. imagine, so you're in a closed guard. Right. So you're here, maybe you can posture up and then to bait the person to try to to break your posture so they might come up, right? So from here, you can shoot one arm forward, right? Trap them here, right? But you have to make sure that you really pin your forearm down to the mat so that they don't move with you. Okay, so I wanna be here, right? And then I'm gonna get my butt up on the tripod and then step over and I wanna keep coming forward here, right? The main thing is that I'm keeping him from swiveling I want to come up, make it really tight for him. All right? You can hit the, you can hit this off, and then you can even go for the toe hold here. Let's make sure you can. See. Sorry, sorry, Jonathan. No All right, so you can, you can go for a toe hold here, right? Or you can, you say if you want to pass the guard, you come up this way, right? Keep a lot of pressure on him. I would do it with a lot of pressure, but to kind of relieve a little pressure from Jonathan, so you can come up. <laughs> And then do your standard guard pass, right? Right? Like that. But just to let you know some of the finer details, you gotta pin him down so that he doesn't swivel with you, right? Do so, S -grip. Yeah, I like to do the S grip. Go ahead and, let's go ahead and get back here. So Is this? Yeah. So say if I shoot him, I shoot him here. And if I if I don't really hold this down, or if I try to walk, then we'll just we'll just be spinning, right? So you have to kind of spear in, spear down, tripod, and then you move your legs, but don't let your arms move. All right? You can even start doing stuff like this too, whatever. So you end up in that head and arm ride. Totally, there's a lot of options once you pop open that that uh, guard. But the main thing is that letting you know that there's different things besides that. Like a lot of people associate like that can opener technique with catch wrestling, with that neck crank and stuff like that. But there are a lot of other things you can do. All right, so hopefully this helped. Make sure you subscribe. You can watch some other videos here. We'll see you in the next video.